Hey guys, it's your boy Frost Knight. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about the other covenants and what is the difference, the new difference, I mean the new changes, um, and see which one fits the Frost Death Knight the most. I mean, you, you saw in my last video I uploaded just before this one that Necrolord have some good Covenant spells for Frost DK. So this is my Fire Mage. Now because my Frost DK is a Necrolord, I can't look at my Covenant, my other other Covenant's abilities. So I'm gonna just take a look on my Fire Mage. I also have a Warrior event here. But I don't have a Kyrian, so I'm not gonna talk about Kyrians in this video. So I'm gonna just stick to Night Fae and Necrolord and Aventhir. Okay, so let's take a look here. So this is Night Fae. Okay, so let's see here. So the first soul bound here, we have Mastery Buff. I mean, it's still working for now. We have a damage here. Now the options here, I think, they are not very very useful. I mean, this one deals the most damage. Uh, the other two doesn't deal that much of the not that much of damage. So let's take a look on the new one. When you critical strike, you gain twenty percent movement speed for five seconds. May only occur once every 10 seconds. Okay, so we have move speed buff. When you fall below 50% health, you regen 20% of your health over 10 seconds and receive 5% additional healing from other spells and abilities. May only occur once every 60 seconds. Okay, so we don't have any damage increase in these two. Okay, gaining a stack of Redacted Anima from a Grove Invigor... Invigoration heals up to 5 nearby allies for 2% of their max of their health. If any of the affected allies are of another Covenant, Redacted Anima's Mastery and maxima and Maximum Health effects are increased by, five, by 50%. So if you heal like another covenant, you will, they will heal extra 50%. So I don't see any damage boost in this. This will be more like a healing, a healing uh, slot, soul bound. Okay, let's take a look on the other one. Um, oh, this one save you if you die. Okay, let's take a look on the new spells. Entering soul shape slows enemies near your starting point. Oh, entering soul shape slowing enemies near your starting point by 50%. Just in case you use uh, soul shape that transform you into an animal like this one here. Okay. When you take damage below 80% health, you gain a shield for 30% of the damage amount, last 3 seconds. Okay. Dealing damage or healing a target grants you 1% increased damage or healing to that target for 4 seconds, up to 3%. I don't know, I feel these two like a healing, a healing spell, they don't have any damage, I mean any damage boost. Okay, this one is supposed to be the damage, and this one what usually frost decays as a night fake go with, because you have a critical strike buff, 25%, and you will have so many stuff. Okay, let's see the new one. After interrupting or dis 
sorting an enemy they deal 5% less damage for 5 seconds okay when damaging an enemy or healing an ally within 8 yard you gain 3% lead for 5 seconds when damaging an enemy okay so it doesn't have any specific uh, timer it just it's, a, it's like a passive 3% leech okay when your damage or healing is enchanted by wild hunt tactics gain wild hunt stratagem for one minute the next time you damage an enemy who is below 35% health or heal an ally who is above 75% health wild hunt strag is activated to increase your damage and healing to such targets by 5% for 10 seconds um, I don't know, I don't feel it's very strong Wild Hunt Tactics. What is this exactly? So night phase, I know, is very bad. I mean, there's. I mean, this should be the best damage. Uh, but I don't see any new damaging spells. So I think night phase will be like. I don't know, it's not very good for a frosty case. Okay, let's take a look on Venthyr. Okay, so this right now is the best single target damage for a frost DK. You take the haste buff and what you got here? The first enemy you damage in combat is marked as your adversary. You deal 3% more damage to them and they deal 1.5 less damage to you. You may only have one adversary at a time. And this benefit from well feed of task. This one, I think this one is good. Because you get uh, buff extra buff from food and stuff okay let's take a look on the new ones so this is the first soul bound okay health potions and health stone grant you an absorb shield equal to 50 percent of the amount healed nice <coughs> enemies within eight yards are slowed by 10 percent if you fall below 35% health, enemies within 8 yards are rooted for 4 seconds. This can only occur once every 60 seconds. Okay, so there is no damage. Oh, let's see the last one. With the haste effect of Euphoria, is this this one? When the haste effect of Euphoria ends. What is Euphoria? Yeah, the haste buff from this one, okay. Gain 10 seconds of either 20% increased critical strike chance or versatility, which you currently have more of. Okay, so this is nice. So you get 20% critical strike or versa for 10 seconds. Each time the haste buff goes, So I think this one maybe every 30 or 40 seconds. So you will get 20% haste. After that you will get 20% crit or versa. I think for a frost DK you always get a critical strike because this is the you don't need actually versatility. 
So you will get this buff every one minute, I think. It's not bad, it's not bad buff. But this two doesn't give you any damage. Okay, let's see the other one. So this one top give you mastery. I was using this one when I was a Venthyr. Okay. Grand Shield that absorb. Okay. The effects of combat potion last 100 to 200 longer. Nice. Condiment singles the start of tea time, granting 6% Versa to you and 3% Versa to up to 4 nearby allies. Last 10 seconds. Condiment, which uh, this uh, execute. So I think this will be like mist. Every time you use mist, you get Versa. If you are uh, Frost DK. Okay, let's see the other one. It's always tea time when Soothing Shade activates. Soothing Shade, which is this one, the mastery buff. Tobins and Gobins each offer you a cup of tea, healing you for 300 health every one second and reducing damage taken by 5% while standing in the shaded area okay nice while you are well fed gain 60 speed and 60 avoidness seems nice but mostly in dungeons if you died for example you will not have a time to eat because you know you're gonna have just to keep going Okay, once per day you can speak with the theater in Seinfeld to obtain the Mad Duke's Tea, which increases your strength by 3%, or your haste by 3%, or your critical strike by 3%, or your versatility by 3% for one hour. Okay, so this one seems good. I mean, why people will take secondary stat in this? Right now, primary stat is like the the best stats for damage. So I think you will go with the strength. So in this, you will get mastery. You will get three percent uh, strength every for one hour. But once once per day. I don't know. I mean, the Necrolord, like Bonus Smite, for example, you get 3% primary stat. And there's also the Mastery buff that give you 750 Mastery. And it's not the it's not chance like this one. This one you can you might move away from it. So it's not always useful. So I don't know I think the the bonus my soul, soul bound in Necrolord is much better because you will get the three percent strength forever. You will also get you will get more mastery, and you will also get the the last covenant spell which give you three percent extra damage below on targets below thirty five percent health. So it's much much stronger than this one. Okay, let's see the last one. One second. Okay, guys. So the third one. Okay, let's see what we have because I don't really remember the events here. Damage taken below 40% health is reduced by 10%. Upon death, you, have, you leave a stone husk behind you, which behind with shatters after 3 seconds inflicting 100% of your maximum health and physical damage split among nearby enemies and healing for 100% of your maximum health split among allies within 20 yards Ok, 
Okay, standing still for at least 4 seconds grant you 10% increased stamina and 4% increased healing done. This effect persists for 6 seconds after you start moving. Successfully interrupting an enemy or disabling an ally increases your critical strike chance by 10% for 10 seconds. Cool. So we have a critical buff here. While you are above 80% health, you gain 1% strength every 3 seconds, stacking up to 4 times. If you fall below 50% health, this effect is lost. I don't know, maybe this one is good. Okay. But the best, I mean, the best soul bound for Frost DK right now is this one. So. I never see any frost decay go with this. But anyway, let's continue. Let's hit the new one. Any overhealing done to you will heal for an additional 15% of the overhealing amount over 6 seconds. While below 50% health, door of shadows cool down 50% faster. Each nearby enemy trembles at your presence. Increasing your damage and healing done by 1% and reducing damage taken by 1% up to a maximum of 3 enemies. I know. There is nothing uh, new in this. I mean there is no damage. No damage spells. So I think this one will be the best. And yeah, also this one. But none of these give you primary stat. This one only give you haste and secondary stat here. This one give you mastery and uh, 3% strength for one hour each day so this might for people that don't play Warcraft so much okay so this for the event here okay guys here Necrolord so here's the, the first soulbound this one give you, I don't know, this give you buff, depends on which type of um, of creature you flesh craft it. I don't, th I don't think people will, be, will pick this one, but let's take a look on the new spells. Uh, when struck by a snare you drop a bottle that lasts for 10 seconds. Enemies that step on the bottle are slowed by 70% for 5 seconds. Um, okay. While above 80% health, 5% of damage taken is delayed and spread out over 5 seconds. Ammunition limps summon um, to fight alongside of you for 40 seconds. His attacks cause your enemies to take 2% additional damage from you and he predictably grant your allies an absorb shield that absorb 184 damage. So there is not much of a damage boost in this one. Okay, Emini. You will still have the buff. Uh, from this one and <coughs> after standing still for five seconds the next time you move uh, you and nearby allies gain 20% increased movement speed while above 90% health you gain a shield that absorbs 7000 magical damage for one minute this effect might only acquire once every one minute Fleshcraft cover you in a three bustlers bar one second channel. 
taking damage or being heal healed pops one of them dealing 900 natural natural damage to nearby and to nearby enemies and healing nearby allies for 1000 split between them it's not that much so this will be like as as i said that in the last video this will be like a tanking uh, soul bound and i think this will be good for pvp because you have a slow you have so many stuff to shield you and uh, this one for the damage bone smith you will have three percent um, strength buff forever and doesn't last only for one hour uh, you will also have a critical buff here every one minute and you have here damaging an enemy above 90 percent health grant you 152 mastery for five seconds up to five stacks up to five stacks you cannot gain this benefit from the same target for 10 seconds so as i said this one will be good in dungeons because uh, on each pack the tank start to pull you will still you will gonna have mastery buff and i also said something in the last video i think my voice wasn't very clear that if you have the first uh, five stacks as i said it's stacking five times if you have the first five stacks then you attacked and you uh, add before the the old stacks goes so what will i mean what will reset again to one stack or it will just still as five and reset the duration so if this happens if it just reset the duration on five stacks this means you can have so much mastery for a lot of time like 10 seconds maybe so this one will be very useful for frost dk when three or more enemies are nearby your maximum health is increased by five percent okay i think if you in dps you will go with this one and there's also no damage slots here slot if you want to go with this one put damage so i'm very sure you will pick the mastery buff and the last one when you damage an enemy that below 35 percent health three percent of the damage done is repeated over five seconds healing and ally grant them the ability to have their damage repeat this way at 30 percent effectiveness for five seconds oh wait so damaging an enemy that below 35 percent health three percent of the damage done is repeated over five seconds so i don't know exactly how this will work i mean does this three percent from uh, from the damage you have done already before or it will or the damage you will deal after he reach 35 percent health or maybe after he reached 35 percent health the boss or the ads uh, each three percent damage you deal to them after that they will just get repeated uh, on five seconds damage like damage over time maybe it will work this way i don't know but it seems like a damage spell so you will get extra damage from this so you will have strength buff you will have a critical buff you will have two damage uh, damaging slots here to put you always want to put this one uh, for the the cooldown of empower rune weapon 
and you will also have a mastery buff from this one and you will have some extra damage from this one I think I can click on this let's go to <coughs> to Necrolord and see exactly how it work okay guys we're gonna test the mastery buff again so we have these targets and let's go so I should get 5 stacks I only got one so I don't know it might be okay you see I still have my mastery buff what? that's where I use if I get pushed okay right now I don't have any mastery buff but I'm above 90% health it's really complicated on this okay right now I'm low health okay I got mastery buff I don't know sometimes it's working sometimes it's not and he's taking so much damage I think guys the spell is not completed yet sometimes it's working sometimes it's not I use it on these ads but it didn't give me anything hey guys um, I'm back to the Kyrian actually I changed my covenant to do this so I still didn't open anything but we're gonna just take a look on the new spells for Frost DK if anybody is a Kyrian and want to be a Kyrian so I don't know so let's see what we got so the first soul bound here what does it give you shackle of word increase your mastery by 350 for 10 seconds uh, okay so it gives you mastery using a spell or ability you reduce your magic damage taken by 1% for 6 seconds Using another spell or ability increases the amount by 1% when it's not a repeat of the previous spell or abilities, stacking to 3 times. Okay. During combat, moving within 3 yards of a party or raid member inspires both of you, increasing mastery by 40 for 1 minute. Players may only be affected by one such effect. So there is a mastery buff. It's not, uh, it's not that much. After recovering from a loss of control effect, you take 15% reduced damage, and your movement speed must be. Your movement speed cannot be reduced below 90% for six seconds. Okay. At any moment during combat, there is a low chance your depth will manifest for 10 seconds. Directly facing your depth will overcome it, granting 12 strength and stamina for 15 seconds. Wow, so this one will give you 12% strength. At any moment during combat, there is a low chance your depth will manifest for 10 seconds so it's it's a chance you cannot control 
when to use it. I don't know, see, it's very good, I mean, 12% strength buff for 15 seconds is very, very, very good. Also, you get mastery from, I mean, you will get like 400 mastery from these two. Okay, so this one actually is good. Let's take a look on the second one. Your critical strike grant you a stack of violent strike <coughs> up to 20. If a nearby party member drops below 50% health, you consume these stacks to heal them for 1% of their maximum health bar stack. Okay, so this is like a healing. Your damaging spells and abilities have a chance to decrease your target's movement speed. Chance to critical strike is increased by 1% for every nearby enemy or ally up to 5%. Okay. When receiving healing while above 70% health or heal an ally that above 70% health, 4% of the healing done is repeated on the target over 5 seconds. So there is only one critical damage here. Okay, movement speed increased by 6% while out of combat, gain 3% critical strike chance for 10 seconds after damaging an enemy above 90% health. <coughs> so this one will be like the Necrolord one, but this one will give you critical and that one give mastery. Actually I test it. And it's not working as as it should because I was damaging more than one more than a target and I only got one stack of mastery. Okay, your fill of I don't know what is this reduces damage taken by ten percent for eight seconds and its effects are also granted to your lowest health ally. Um, okay. Your Valence Strike grants 0.25% critical strike a chance per stack. When your Valence Strike heals an ally, you reach, you each gain 5% critical strike a chance for 12 seconds. Okay, so this one stacks for 20 times, so you will get like 5% critical. So this soulbound actually give you a lot of crit. 5% here, 3% here, and almost 10% here. So you will get like permanent 20% critical strike. It's not that much. There is no damage increase, just crit. Okay. After using 90 damaging or healing spells and abilities your next spell or ability summons brawn which knocks enemies back on arrival and then attack and heal your targets for 30 seconds oh i think i know this one i think they summoned this robot because i saw some people with uh, with me keep summoning a uh, weird robot to fight with us so maybe it's this one. Okay. After five seconds standing is still incoming stun and durations are reduced by 20%. Damaging a new enemy grants you 3% haste for 10 seconds up to five stacks. So this is a haste buff. Nice. Damaging or healing a target initializes its merit over 15 seconds, increasing your damage or healing to it by 1%, increasing by an additional 1% every 3 seconds. Um, cannot start a new one until the previous one has finished. 
Oh, so you will get 5% increased damage from this one. Okay. After taking physical or magical damage, gain a shield that absorbs damage equal to 8% of your maximum health for 10 seconds. Each incoming damage type may trigger this effect once per th bare 30 seconds. Okay. Shackles and Worthy release a blast of overcharge anima to your target location, dealing 4000 arcane damage split evenly between all targets over 8 seconds. Reduce the cooldown of Shackle of Unworthy by 4 seconds bar affected enemy to a maximum of 20 seconds. So there is nothing like... Um, so you have two damaging here. This one gives you 5% increased damage. This one reduces the damage of the shackle one worthy and give you extra damage. And this one gives you haste. I don't know, actually there's... I mean, the other covenant doesn't give you that much of a damage increase. So I feel Necrolord uh, bonus my soul bound will be the best covenant for for dungeons at least. Okay, guys. So we're gonna finish now. Maybe in the future they will fix it. Maybe it's just still testing, so things might change. And yeah. That's it for this video. So right now, Necrolord, from what I saw, is the best Covenant as a damage. It has so much damage uh, passives and also good for a Frost DK. I mean, this one gives you crit, mastery, primary stats, and extra shadow damage uh, as you saw. So maybe Unholy will even get a better benefits because you get extra shadow damage uh, buff from mastery so yeah this is it for this video thanks you for watching and see you at the next one goodbye